channel. I've done a video on this one. But basically the video is actually about these Morphe Jacqueline Health brushes, which I just purchased and received today. Well, I didn't purchase and receive today because it's a three or four day shipping, but I purchased them last week. Oh, these brushes! These brushes are so nice. So nice. They're so nice. <laughs> Firstly, they're really affordable. Eight brushes cost me like... I used the Jack Attack, um, okay, so I got 10% off, but um, they cost me like £40, so that's really good. But aside from them being really affordable, they are, they are so nice, they're so soft, and like honestly it feels like something is kissing your eyelid when um, you're, that's really weird. <laughs> it just feels like it, uh, oh, okay, not kissing, but caressing? Okay. Oh. It feels like, um, okay, someone's dusting a feather over your eyelid. That's, that's actually how it feels. Like, they are so soft. The point is, they're so soft, and they blend the eyeshadow out perfectly, so they're just so nice to use. They're also so unique. Like, genuinely, each brush has its own job, and no one's trying to steal anybody else's job. And um, they look nice, first of all, and they say... Morphe X Jacqueline Hill and then they've got the they've got their own code at the bottom as well. But yeah, so they look really nice and they feel really nice in your hand. Um that's like a weird thing to say, but I'm saying that because Jacqueline made a thing out of it, like part of the thing that she spent so long on the brushes for was because she wanted to make sure that it felt really nice in your hand and like it does. This one probably feels the nicest because it's so cute, it's such a small little brush and like you just want to hold it like this, like obviously I'm not going to actually do my makeup like that, but like holding it like this is just so nice. I used all of the brushes um, for today's look and I didn't use any others on my eyes, so like legit you can get amazing eye makeup, I'm not saying this eye makeup is amazing, but you can get really nice eye looks with these brushes. And um, oh my god, I haven't even mentioned, so they come in the cutest little bag! They come in a really cute bag, it's like this little silver glitter number, but it's like shiny and it's not like scratchy or it's going to get glitter all over you. Um, and they fit perfectly and it's just so cute and I'm also going to put my other brushes in there. Oh, and um, it says Jacqueline Hill on the zip on one side. And more feet on the other. I thought it said Jacqueline Hill on both sides, and I was like, girl, what about more feet? But I love this! Like, I think that. Oh my god. Ugh, lucky that wasn't one of mine. Um, so there's some threads coming off, but that's fine. I don't really care because the brushes are so nice and they're so affordable. Um, and what was I saying? Also, what I just want to say is, I think that wearing makeup is fun, and I like to wear makeup, I like to play with makeup, but what I would say is that I don't think anybody has to wear makeup to look pretty, so that's just something I'd like to say, and clearly, yeah, because I would never want anybody to think that you have to look a certain way to be pretty, or you have to contour your nose or your cheekbones to make them look pretty and I think like genuinely what makes us beautiful is our differences. Okay, so that's me. I really hope you like the look. I really hope you um, like the brushes. I'm an OG Jacqueline fan, okay? I've been watching Jacqueline for a while and yeah, I love, I love Jacqueline. But that said, I wouldn't say I love these brushes if I didn't. And I love the bag. <laughs> Also, I'm dyeing my hair tomorrow, so you might not recognise me in the next video, but hopefully you do. You know, just a little old me. Um, I hope you liked the look, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video. I watched her um, tutorial. Um, first of all, I haven't even felt the brushes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're soft. And I've been wanting to do this since I watched her tutorial at the weekend on her new brushes and I completely get what she means, that's really wonderful. Sorry, I've got my uh, 
Sorry for the noise, I've got my aircon on because it's hot. Oh, it's hot. I'm gonna start with my JH32. I'm gonna keep it to Morphe for this tutorial just because I think that's quite nice. I'm using Morphe brushes, I might as well use a Morphe palette. So I'm gonna use my 3502 palette by Morphe. So I'm gonna start off with my transition shade. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Universal, which is that one. Mm -hmm. And um, also she recommended to do this. To like break up the bristles a bit, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so going in with a bit of Universal in my crease for my transition shade. Wow, this brush is really soft. And um, by transition shade, I mean I'm just gonna put this colour down, and it's gonna be easier to put other colours over the top. And I'm just gonna slowly build the colour. This brush is so soft, it's like gliding across my lid. So just going back and forward and then rounding off at the end a little bit. But um, yeah, it's basically going to give something for the other colours to just blend into. I'm not even sure what I look I'm doing yet, but I've got a big choice. So just putting a generous amount of this all over my lid. And quite evenly as well. Not like just keeping it to the outside or anything. And um, this is definitely the easiest colour to put down, like the transition one, because you never want to be able to see it that much because you want this to be the most like outside colour and for it to just fade away. Like the yesterday's news. I'm joking! Oh my god, I'm loving this brush! It's so, so soft. It's so nice! It's so soft on my lid. Like I could stop now blending, but I don't want to. Because it feels so good. It feels so nice. Now with my clean JH30. I'm just gonna go, well, I'm gonna do what she said. So I'm gonna go like this and just like scuff up the brushes a little bit. I'm just going to go around the edges and just make sure that's fully blended out up here. Oh my god, it's so soft! Kept my door open and I've got the aircon on because it's a hot and sticky situation in here, so I'm sorry about the noise. I'm going to go first of all and use, I'm going to use Flux next, um, just to basically darken up slightly that colour and I'm going to use the same brush that I just used. So yeah, basically putting it all on this outer part of the eye and then um, uh, 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 and then when it's kind of all off the brush, bringing it in a little bit. So there's going to be like a smooth gradient in the middle where it goes from flux to universal. And then again, taking the clean um, JH30 and just blending it out at the edges. So I want to warm this look up a little bit. So next I'm going to swap brushes because I can and I'm going to use the JH33 and again just like you know and <clears throat> I'm going to go for terracotta which is this really nice colour over here. I haven't actually used it before. I don't think. Yeah I definitely haven't. So let's see what that looks like. Basically you're just putting this in the same place as I just put the other one, but maybe a little bit lower. And yeah, this is just going to warm up a little bit. But yeah, this colour isn't too dark, so... It's nice though. So really keeping this like in that eye socket. Mm -hmm. And then each time going back in with the clean um, JH30 around the edges, just really, really softly, just to make sure there are no harsh lines. Now I'm going to go in with shimmer I'm going to use is called Halo. Then I'm probably going to come and um, 
use some more darker tones after. So I'm going to use the JH41 brush and I'm going to spray it with some fixed glass. Going back in with the JH33 um, and the Flux colour, which was the second brown, just to um, kind of tidy up the edges a bit and help blend it out together at the edges. Getting right in there to blend those two shades together. Now I'm going to swap to a... I love this brush. This brush may be my favourite. This is the JH40 and it's a teeny one to darken up the creasy outside crease. So I'm going to go in with Chestnut, which, which is this like burgundy shade here. Slowly build up the colour on the outer crease. So I'm keeping this shade um, really close to the lash line. This adds a little something something and then I'm gonna warm it up a little bit with a darker brown. Okay, I'm gonna warm it up now with the shade brunette. I'm loving this little brush, it makes it so easy to um I the shadow in a really specific place without having a harsh line at the same time. Um, basically, I'm loving all of these brushes, like all the brushes I've so far used. I love. They're so soft and they make it so easy to blend the colours out. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Why am I doing that? So I'm going to put some lashes on, then I'm going to do my mascara, and then I'm going to do my lower lash line. So the lashes I'm using are these ones. Allure definition. They look nice. I'm not sure if I like these lashes, to be honest. I'm gonna go with them for now, but yeah, I wouldn't actually wear them, I think. They're a bit too, they're not really my style. But yeah, they're not natural looking enough for me. I'm gonna go in with the JH39, which is the little pencil brush. And I'm gonna go in first of all with Flux, which is this color. And I'm gonna just put it all over my lower lash line. I um blend it out. Don't, I'm not worrying about like bringing it a bit far down. This is a really really good brush. It's really easy to use. It's tiny, so um again you can be quite um like defined with where you want it to go. But because it's really soft and the bristles are really nice, it's still not um like super defined. I'm going to stick to the same brush and I'm going to go in with chestnut and I'm going to keep it more towards the outer. No, I'm actually going to put it all the way across. Now I'm going to go in with this brush, which is probably the one I'm most excited to use. Just because I've wanted a brush like this for so long and I just... I haven't got one, but now... So this is the JH43. And I'm going to go in with the halo colour, which was voila, and oh, I keep this tight to the lash line. And I'm going to go in with those darker browns that I was using before, and mix them together as I did before, and just put these tight to the lower lash line. over with the little pencil brush to just make sure it's like a bit blended and then I'm going to put some mascara on the lower lash line. Mm. 
now that that's done, what lips do I want to do? I'm going to do not much on my lips because my eyes are quite bold. Um, okay, so I'm going to put some blush on. I'm going to use my Sigma F35 tapered, well it's a hollow to brush but whatever. And I'm going to use my Dandelion by Benefit. To just um, put a little bit on the apples of the cheeks. Yeah. And then, yeah, for lips, I'm gonna. Let me think. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go for lips, I think. Might be a bit much. We'll see. I'm going to use my MAC pigment in the shade Vanilla and I'm going to use, okay maybe this is the one I'm most excited to use, this is the sweetest little highlighting brush, um, it's the JH42, so I'm just going to put a bit of pigment in the lid slash there's always some in the lid anyway, so I'm just going to pick some of this up and put it on my brow. So. a teeny bit of what's left on my cheek is bad. and then also under my nose so there you have the finished look I hope you like it I am now obsessed with these brushes I used every single one and I didn't use any other brushes to do my eyes at all yeah I didn't what I would say is that each brush is so so nice to you I love them I would definitely recommend getting the eye brushes because like they are all so unique and they all are so easy to use and so soft. I really like them. Um, so I'm going to clean them now because I'm probably going to use them on a daily basis and that includes tomorrow. How cute do they look in there? Also, um, I actually am not loving these eyelashes. They're a bit too dramatic for me. I like to have slightly more natural lashes so yeah just my opinion on those yeah i hope you like the look and i hope you enjoyed the tutorial oh if you did then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can like the video you know if you want but you know like it you don't have to but you know thanks for watching i'll see you on my next video